Hey guys, carrying on with my maintenance videos. Um, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Jacko, of course. Um, today I'm going to show you how to check your tyres, check your wheel bearings, make sure that's all good before you're on a big road trip or just yearly maintenance. First thing we do, jack it up. Put the put the jack under the axle like that you can just go on the side of the trailer depending on the size obviously the bigger the boat you don't really want to um, lift too much weight from the side of the trailer try to lift it from the axle so like that just till the tires off the ground uh, I've attached it to the car so it's not going anywhere if not block block your tires of course sweet so here's my tire 12 inch rim tire so first thing to do is check the wheel bearings give the tire a spin listen for any sounds coming out of here any scraping anything like that and then you're going to want to give the tire a hit like that grab the tire see if you can shake it side to side if there's any play in that if it's wobbly or making noises or scraping most likely your wheel bearing's gone so check that the wheel bearing fails I have seen tires and hubs and all sorts go wrong here and they have come off on the highway I've seen all sorts you don't want that happening so pretty easy check go around give it a bash check for any cracks in your sidewall on a WAF inspection in New Zealand they'll fail you if there's cracks in the sidewall um, all my bearings I have bearing buddies on that's just a little silicone cap so these are bearing buddies anyway there's a grease nipple there I'll hook a I'll show you that in a minute, I'll get my grease gun. You hook up the grease gun to the nipple, give it a few pumps, and what happens is a spring on the inside of here that pushes a little plate. So what happens when you pump it up, it pushes the plate out. And over time, as the wheel bearing uses grease, or if there's any leaks or whatever, it will push the grease that's hold, held in here with the spring, it will push it into the bearing, and that will lubricate the bearing and keep the bearing good nick. And the, these bearings are a couple years old now, and they are mint. There's no play in it, it's perfect. And then also, what to check on here, check your lug nuts, check their tie, I've already checked these today. Grab a spanner, give them a little tweak, see if they move, see if they're loose. And then you want to check your tread. This has plenty of tread. Um, I can't remember the exact regulation, I think it's 3 mil or so. You can get these little gauges for free, but basically you just want to check it has good tread. There's no big chunks missing, there's no uneven wear on it. Oh, that's pretty good it's well in spec well in New Zealand WAF spec so yeah you want to check this wheel then you want to go check your other if you have a tandem or um, triple axle trailer just check all of them go around give them a spin and yeah check your bearings you also want to have a look on the back of these they have a seal in here that holds the grease in here and keeps the water out from when you're launching on the beach etc so just check this note that seal is this some people forget to put them in, check that it's there, check there's no excessive grease pouring out of it. And just just have a visual inspection, make sure it's all in good nick. They do crack and stuff over time, this one's been painted over, so you can't really see the rubber, but there's no grease pouring out the side. If I spin it, there's no grease coming out, so that all looks uh, pretty good to me. Next I'm going to show you how to grease your wheel bearings if you have a bearing buddy system called. They're installed, there's other names for them. So let's grab your grease gun, there's a nipple on the middle here. Just want to find it, there, push it on. And then you just want to give it some pumps. Try hold it on square. Whilst that's doing is it's compressing that spring all the way back. Only needs a few pumps, these bearings don't take much. Give it a few pumps. Make sure it's all going in there. Pop it off, sweet. You see there's a little hole right there on the side once there's grease coming out that hole stop that's telling you it's full that hole is set at a drilled at a certain point so that it tells you when to stop so you don't overfill it with grease if you keep pumping it'll just keep coming out of there so stop there make sure you put your dust covers back on that keeps all the dust out of that grease keeps your nipple good keeps it all good so anyway i hope you've been enjoying this uh series on my trailer maintenance and my boat maintenance I uh, hope, you, hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of Fishing with Jacko. Catch ya.